What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another Ultimate Camera Comparison video. This time we are facing off the HTC One M9 against its last year's model, the M8. But before we jump into the samples, let's take a quick look at their specs. So the M9 has a 20.7 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot up to 4K resolution at 30 FPS. And the M8 has a 4 megapixel dual camera that can shoot up to 1080p resolution at 60 FPS. Both of the phones also come with digital image stabilization and the M9 can also shoot in slow motion in 720p at 120 FPS. So for front facing cameras, the M9 has a 4 megapixel camera and the M8 has a 5 megapixel camera and both can shoot in 1080p at 30 FPS. Alright, so that's it for the specs. Let's sit back, relax and take a look at some samples. I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up you guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is the sound and stabilization test between the two phones that you see on the screen. 
Also, make sure to look at the audio icon somewhere on the screen and it will indicate which phone's audio it, uh, is being used, basically. Now, all phones are strapped on to one device and they are secured. So basically, what you are looking at is a fair and controlled stabilization test. Also, if you guys are into these types of camera tests, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because there is a lot more coming soon. So I'm not sure why HTC didn't include continuous autofocus for their flagship phone. You would think at this point they would have added a very important feature to their cameras. So if you want to focus during video, you're gonna have to manually do it by tapping on the phone. Same goes for the M8, it can get really annoying having to touch the display often just to focus on an object that you want to, and it also shakes the phone slightly so you won't get smooth footage. So both phones did a decent job during the day, I have no complaints on either of the phones. The M9 does seem to have a bit more contrast, whereas the M8 seems more truer to life. I also noticed that the M9 has trouble picking up reds like this flower over here, there's just way too much contrast at times. For indoor shots, the M9 has a better white balance, however, it overexposes the background when focusing on black objects. When it comes to selfies, the M9 is a clear winner, very sharp with vibrant colors makes this one of the best phones with a front-facing camera. Switching to night shots is where the competition ends, both cameras are pretty bad. Exposure is slightly higher on the M8 which means you get to see a lot more around the object but the bright lights get washed out. Both phones also have a lot of white noise, especially in areas where the light source is minimal. Interestingly enough, the M8 has a much better flash than the M9. I guess HTC is going backwards in this department, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Not that the M8 flash is the best, but it's certainly better since it doesn't flash the crap out of the object. For daylight video, I noticed the M8 footage a little darker if you pay attention to the windows. Also, there seems to be more contrast in the M8 video. The bushes have an odd tint of green to them. Also, the high dynamic range on the M8 sucks. Some parts are underexposed, whereas the others are overexposed. Surprisingly, the M9 does a much better job during the day. Even though both phones don't have optical image stabilization, the M8 seems to be less shakier from what I can tell. I don't know, what do you guys think? For low light video, the M8 takes the lead, but only by a little. The footage just looks more sharp, has a lot less white noise, and you can actually read the signs without any problems. So the final verdict, well, both phones are equally bad when it comes to low light performance. It's simple as that. But surprisingly enough, the M8's Duo camera did a lot better than this year's model. I'm not sure why HTC has downgraded like this, but I hope next year HTC can get their shit together and put in an actual decent camera to compete with other flagships. Anyways, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree with my results? Drop a comment down below to let me know, as well as leave a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. If you want to see more camera comparisons on your favorite smartphones, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because there are plenty more coming your way. Thanks again for watching. This is Ed from TechSource, and I'll see you guys in the next video.